What is your name? Good morning. How are you? Good, so you? What's your name? My name is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Trevor Robertson from Fairbanks, Alaska. Robertson? Roberts, sir. Roberts. Okay. You a senior? Yes, sir. What are you going to do when you graduate? Hopefully, sir, I'm in the selection process for Naval Academy, and I currently have accepted the NRTC scholarship and applied for the Citadel, sir. Okay, very good. So where do you, when do you think you're going to hear from Naval Academy? Hopefully as soon as possible, sir. Probably middle of March, end of March. Okay. Right. Oligar, how to who? Oligar, carry colors. Ready, cut. Power ring. Christ. Oligar, how to who? Carry colors. Ready, cut. Forward, cut. Left, right, left, counter, cut. Cut. Left, right, left. Last name? Cadet Redding. Redding? Yes, sir. R E A D I N G? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're a senior? Yes, sir. What are you going to do when you graduate? I'm going to go to AM. Are you? Have you been accepted yet? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me the difference between the rank of the CEO, the Marine Sergeant Major, and the Marine Master Gunnery Sergeant? Marine Sergeant Major, sir, has a star, five point star in the middle, sir. The Master Gunnery Sergeant has a bursting bomb, sir. Yeah. Going to buffet? Yes, sir. First class Hilliard LE1 from San Juan, from California, sir. How you been? Good, sir. Where are you from? From Turkey. Moscow, Russia. From where? Moscow. Moscow? Yes, sir. Okay. It's a little ways from here, isn't it? Yes, sir. How long have you been going to school here? This is my first year, sir. Your first year? What grade are you in? 12th, sir. What are you going to do when you graduate? Hopefully a mechanical engineer, sir. Where are you going to go to school? Probably Florida, sir. What's your name? Joshua Curry. His last name? Curry. Curry? He's from? So, uh, San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio? Yes, sir. How long have you been here in the night? This is my second year, sir. Second year? Yes, sir. How you doing today? Uh, good, sir. You're in company first sergeant? Yes, sir. All right. So what exactly do you as a company as first sergeant? I ensure that all the NCOs and staff NCOs in my company are informed of, uh, and do what they're supposed to do, sir. Okay. What LE are you? I'm LE2, sir. LE2? All right. Good morning, sir. <clears throat> good morning, sir. Cadet, Second Lieutenant Nichols, LE4 from Houston, Texas, sir. Hi, good morning, Mr. Nichols. How are you doing today? Fantastic, sir. And you? Doing good. good. You're looking sharp, Mr. Nichols. You too, sir. And what's your ability? My ability is platoon commander, sir. Platoon commander. Outstanding. Which platoon do you in charge? Uh, first platoon, sir. First platoon? Mm -hmm. Alright. What is your job as a platoon commander? To ensure that the deck is properly ran and to make sure that it's in order, sir. Take your seats. Good 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Well, I, I, before I have Colonel Strong come up and talk to you about the, the inspection, I just want to tell you that from my observation, what I saw, I thought you did great. And I want to thank each and every one of you for the effort that you put into it. And for the drill instructors, assistant drill instructors, everybody involved in this inspection, well done, and I appreciate your effort. Get ready for an inspection is, is individual effort, it is attention to detail, it is pride in what you're doing, it's taking responsibility. For leaders, it's being organized, it's, it's watching what your people are doing, it's instructing, it's, it is those minute attention that is so important. It's being organized. Everything, all of those facets play into this. And to be an accessor, is successful in, in an inspection. And from what I saw, I saw evidence that all of that was taking place. The effort that you put into this inspection, Everything that you did is applicable, not only to the inspection, but to everything else you did. It's applicable to your schoolwork. It's applicable to what you do in athletics. It's applicable to all phases of your life. So what, what you learned here, you need to make sure that you continue to apply in all that you do. Getting ready for an inspection is, in fact, an individual effort. But it is also a team effort. It is also working together. It is also two of you talking to one another to make sure that you know the chain of command, that you know the question, answers to the questions that are going to be asked. It is looking at one another to make sure the uniforms are correct. All of that you did. And I got to tell you that I'm very proud of, of what you have accomplished here today. That, Colonel Strowman? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. So I'm, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Strowman. I'm the director for Region 5. Um, I've been doing this job for 11 years. So I've been down here to inspect Marine Military Academy. This is probably my fifth or sixth uh, inspection down here. And I, I want to commend um, the cadet officers. Uh, cadet officers, raise your hand. The cadet officers, those are y'all are the ones that are driving the train down here with the younger cadets and inspecting them every day, making sure they're doing the things they have to do. And y'all are doing a great job. I mean, all the all the uh, younger cadets were ready for the inspection today. Uh, everybody looked just immaculate in their uniforms, and I. You know, it's, it's easy for me. Um, I have 68 schools that I that I am responsible for. Y'all are one of 68 schools that I'm responsible for. But it's easy for me to come here and inspect because there's never hardly anything wrong. I mean, y'all are always prepared. And like the Colonel said, it's individual effort that gets y'all ready, but then it's a team effort that makes it all come together. And that's all driven by your cadet leadership. And of course, they're driven by the drill instructors back there to, to make sure they're doing the right thing all the time. But the bottom line is that y'all did it. You did it very successfully. Y'all passed everything with flying colors. Your color guard, where's my four cadets that are on color guard today? Okay. One, two, three, where's number four? He must not be here right now. Um, but the four cadets on color guards, that's the best I've seen Marine Military Academy color guards ever, okay? Y'all did just a really great job. I'm really proud for y'all, really uh, happy with what I saw. Uh, Y'all need to be out competing more, bringing home trophies for your school to put on the uh, in the trophy rack. Okay, y'all need to get out there and compete. And and which company you drill? Echo. Echo Company. Where's Echo Company? Is it Echo Company right here. I tell you what, I see cadets drill all the time, and I go to a lot of drill meets, and I see cadets doing uh, unarmed regulation drill, unarmed regulation drill all the time. Y'all drilled as good as any platoon that I've seen all year at the schools I go to or even the competitions I go to. Y'all need to be out there, you know, uh, 
pick the best cadets and get out there. Y'all need to be out there competing more and get to more competitions because I think y'all can win anywhere that you go. Okay? Who, who was the cadet platoon commander? You did a great job. Okay? And you're just a junior, right? Yes, sir. So I'm going to see you with the platoon many times next year at Drillings, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll be looking for you. So, but the bottom line is that I'm sure any of the companies can drill that good. And, and it just takes about, you know, when you go to drill as a competition, it takes 13 kids that want to do it, 13 cadets that want to get together and, and work every day and get just, uh, just perfect at drill. And y'all should be able to do that. And, and, I, and I'd like to see more of that from y'all. But overall, the inspection went very, very well. Um, I don't know what company did the best, but I didn't do a lot of detailed inspection. I inspected the staff, the color guard, and I inspected the company commanders, and they were all great. As I walked through the ranks and looked at every cadet today, you know, I, I usually stop if I see a cadet that has an issue that needs to be corrected on something. I just stopped today just to visit with you and see where you were from and how old you were and what grade you were in. I didn't see anything today that caused me any concern with the program in the way that y'all looked and carried yourself and conducted yourself. So uh, my hat's off to y'all. I uh, always have a great time when I come here, uh, just seeing y'all and seeing what a great job the instructors are doing here, Colonel Hill, Sergeant Major Kinsley, and, uh, and, and the staff here. Uh, y'all are very blessed to have the opportunity to be here. Maybe not every day you think that, but in the long run, y'all are very blessed to be here and having that opportunity to go to school here. So, but with that, congratulations. Um, look forward to seeing y'all when I come back down for my next inspection. It's based upon, you know, you saw somebody with, with a checklist as you were being inspected and they keep track of, were there any infractions on your uniform? Did you have an Irish pendant? Was your belt dirty? Did you get your hair cut? Did you have bad breath? Did you have a booger hanging out of your nose? Anything like that was identified could go down as a mark against you. Uh, your ability to answer or not answer questions. Uh, all of that is compiled. And you saw Cadet Debo would grab up those sheets and he'd take them back to Ops and they'd sit down and crunch numbers and they would come up with the companies that had the least amount of discrepancies or however many cadets that there were looked at out there. And that is where the determination of the best inspected company comes from. I will tell you that from the bottom to the top, on the, who came in last and who came in first was about two points. So we had to get down into, you know, parts of points to figure out who won. So the moral of that story is, is you all took this very seriously. In my mind, all five companies, you know, I, I'm not a big one about participation for trophies or anything like that, but uh, all five companies here today were winners. And, and you all stepped up like I asked you to the other morning in formation. And you did what MMA always does, is you showed Lieutenant Colonel Strowman, you showed Colonel Hill and Colonel Dowling and me that uh, this, this is the best JROTC unit in Region 5, if not in the whole Marine Corps system. Fair enough? Yes, yes sir. sir. Does that work, sir? That, that works. Uh, it is my honor and privilege to announce that the best inspected company for this inspection was Fox Cup.
Well done. Thank you. All of you. You're all winners. Well done. All right, so we're going to go to challenge.